Well, heart disease remains the number one killer in America. According to the Framingham Heart Study, those diagnosed with congestive heart failure have a five-year mortality rate of 50%, but there are ways to keep heart disease at bay. In fact, there is one nutrient that is showing some impressive results. Joining us this morning with advice for improving cardiac function is natural health expert, we got Dr. Mark McCullough with us this morning. Mark, great to see you as always. Well. We appreciate Thank you coming in. We're talking about a nutrient here specifically. What is the nutrient in question? Well, CoQ10 gene is a fat-soluble nutrient. It's a real energy provider to all the cells and all the vital organs, especially the heart muscle. Uh, CoQ10, uh, uh, has this been kind of embraced by the scientific community? Has there been research on this? What type of background do we have? What's well, amazing, over the past 50 years, there have been 100 studies, nine of which are double blind. We're talking about eight international symposiums, 300 scientific papers provided by 200 different physicians from 18 different countries, all suggesting that indeed this is a great nutrient to strengthen the heart without adverse side effects. So, w what is it about CoQ10? That makes it so uh, important to, to heart function. Well, indeed, it is a substance that really generates energy to cells and, and energy to the vital organs. When you think about the heart as a muscle that pumps blood all day long, it needs that energy. And again, research has said that if, if we lose as much as 75% of our CoQ10, the heart would stop. We don't want that. We don't, that's an important it, safety tip. It, it, you mentioned people with heart disease. There's, is there a segment of the population that has more issues with CoQ10? Is this something that, that starts to fade uh, naturally as you get older? It's a us? great question, and indeed that's true. Stress certainly wipes it out. Uh, viruses, long-term illnesses will do that. Also, really important, folks on statin drugs, so many people on statins these days really deplete their levels, so those statins really wipe you out of your CoQ10, important for those folks as well. Anything in your diet that you can eat can help boost that at all? Another great question. I think things like spinach, things like hazelnuts, things like sardines, things like, uh, let's see, cabbage, carrots, all these foods, soy products, these all have an appreciable amount of CoQ10, but if folks are really wiped out in their levels, they're going to need to think about supplementation, especially folks on statins, folks over 50, and folks diagnosed with heart disease. And that's commonly available in CoQ10 and what, supplement pills, I'm, I'm guessing it, here? It, ind indeed, that's correct. Ubiquinol, ubiquinol is the most uh, absorbable form. It's a reduced form, very absorbable. We're generally thinking about 100 milligrams once a day. How do people know if they're having some issues with the CoQ10? I mean, this is, you go and you, the doctor, you get your physical, you get your blood test. There's no CoQ10 uh, number on there or rating that you have. No, there, there are actually a few labs, not a lot, that can actually test, most of them on the West Coast. But for the most part, you want to think in terms of if you're over 50, have been diagnosed with heart disease, or if you're on statins, you definitely want to think about supplementing with 100 milligrams of ubiquinol a day. And is there anything about your day-to-day -day health or how you're feeling that may indicate you're having some issues with CoQ10? Well, again, I think if you're feeling weak, when we talk about congestive heart failure, you're talking about the heart being a muscle that's a pump. And if that pump feels weak, if you're running upstairs and you're finding a really hard time catching your breath, you might want to think about some CoQ10. And I don't know if the uh, research has gone this far into it, but uh, exercise generally has a great benefit for a lot of things. Does it help CoQ10 at all? Well, sure. I think, you know, the idea that exercise really generates a lot of energy in the body. And of course, CoQ10 is sort of like that engine in the mitochondria, in the center of that cell that really absorbs that energy and redistributes it. So I think the two work beautifully well together. And has this been relatively new as far as I know? You said there's been research projects on it. Uh, is this a, a sort of a new phenomenon in the last uh, few years, or how far back does the research Well, Dr. Come? Frederick Crane was the first to discover it back in 1957, so it's been around a while, but in terms of the research, it's really starting to peak in the last 10 or 15 years or so, especially with regards to heart disease. Well, and, and getting new information and new studies certainly going to help those folks who are having some issues no there with heart about disease. It. Uh, for more information, you can visit Mark's website, maxhealing.com. A lot of great information there, as always. Mark, we always appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.